and Kara Kapp. Hello again. <clears throat> Last night was a killer. And uh, I haven't sat through one of those here at the district for at least 10 years. I've been around here since 95 when I was working with USGS and stationed here. But uh, the lesson last night was there's a lot of minutia that the district has to deal with. And I surely hope that you guys will stay in the forest and not get down in the trees. Um, some of those presentations last night, I think I saw 10 years ago. If you're around here long enough, you see them many times. They, uh, they show up. Um, Oh, this is on my forehead because I used to wear it on my ass. But uh, that was disrespectful, and I'm not going to be disrespectful to you guys. Um, you got a tough job to do, and uh, you're, you're starting out fresh. So uh, good luck on that. My real comment is Lake Okeechobee. Everybody likes to say it's too low, it's too high, it's too dirty. It's to everything. But the real truth of Lake Okeechobee is it's an act of failure. The Corps finally classified that after Katrina when they got their ass handed to them in New Orleans. Sir, and, sir can you please uh, keep the decorum and not use that word? Thanks. Yes, sir. Excuse me. Um, it's an act of failure. It could, it could fail any day, any time. It still seeps. The area they started to work on was up at Pahokee, although they said for years, well, it's the old part of the dike that was the problem, which is down by Belgrade and Clewiston. But it so happened the worst part of the dike was up by Pahokee, where Les Bromwell in his report in 2006 for the district said, that it was within hours of failure. The Corps said, no, our, our engineer didn't say that, even though the engineer did say that in a meeting with Les. So the real thing you have to pay to, attention to is human life. That's always the priority. And you have to pay attention to what's ahead, not what is now, not what is past. You can, you can keep yourself buried in the past. Good luck to you.